Hello everyone, so here I am in my friend Valerie's house. She is a stay-at-home mom to two children, three and a half year old and a baby who's four months now? Four months. Four months. Mm -hmm. And today we want to show you how you can set up a preschool learning area for your children, whether they are two, three, four years old, um, whether you're a homeschool parent or you are a um, just a parent who wants to have like, a little learning area for your children at home, or maybe you're a grandparent and you want to have a little learning area for your children, or maybe you're a daycare provider. Um, so whoever you are, we hope you can get some ideas today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set up an area. Um, it doesn't matter which area you pick. You don't have to have a homeschool room or a uh, designated room, bedroom. It can be anywhere in your home. Um, right now we are in your uh, the walk-up attic. This is right the walk-up attic right now, and she has it divided up, in which she has like a um, music corner um, where her husband practices, um, and then this middle area is where she's doing the preschool um, for her son that she's starting in September. So we're really excited to share with you guys um, what we have come up with. And so the first thing you want to do, like I said, is pick up, pick an area. It can be anywhere. You don't have to have a room. Um, it could be even in your dining room. As long as that area is the same area that you use every day because when you have a designated area, um, children associate learning with that area and they have easier transitions and they're just ready to learn um, when you do that. So let's give you now a closer look on how everything is set up and how um, the work boxes are divided. Okay, so this is the space that she has set out. As you can see, it's a small space, but it's functional. She has some closets over here. Um, over here on the wall, she has some posters that she got at Target. Um, these posters you can get inexpensively at Target. They bring little felt pieces that you can match to the letters. Here's another one. This is the United States map. It brings the landmarks that you can match to the states. So it's good to have posters on the wall to bring the area alive and maybe an alphabet chart. Hey, here's Maori. <laughs> All right, and here's the table that Maori's gonna be working on. Um, and like, I said, like we said before, she got this second hand, so you can definitely find um, inexpensive options. So here's the work box that we've set up. And it's divided into different sections. So we have read alouds, we have math, literacy, writing, and then we have three hands-on activities at the end. So let's start here with the read alouds. So um, I recommend that you get a read aloud basket so that every day you're reading a little bit to your children. Here's a little glove that you can just tell stories with, the three little pigs. I have some books in here, green eggs and ham. Where does the garbage go? These are just books. I try to pick like uh, fiction and nonfiction. Are you a spider? Uh, corduroy. Uh, Valerie's doing before five in a row, and so every day of the week she's reading the same book to go over so that program. Berenstain Bears. You might want to have something for virtues or character training or maybe devotions. And lastly, I have a poetry book in here, Child's Gardener Verses. So you want to have books that you read every day, um, and you want to switch these out. You can just go to your library. You don't have to spend money buying things. Okay, so these are the, the three core subjects. And we have math, literacy, and writing. Those are the main core subjects that you really need to focus on in the early years. So here we have the math bin, and in here she has different workbooks. And these workbooks she got in... Um, the dollar store and Target, you can get them for really inexpensive and it really goes over the basics, they're really colorful and kids tend to like these. She also has some colors and shapes, she got these at Target and this is these are um, flashcards to learn shapes and I'll link this below so that you can get it for free on my blog if you guys are interested. So that's for math. Um, so she's just focusing on really basic things, numbers 1 through 12. Um, she has the shapes and the different basic skills workbooks that she can use to go over the basic math concepts. The next one here is literacy and for literacy uh, this year she's focusing on letter sounds so these are her flashcards so she's going to be flashing the letter sounds 
Here's a little alphabet book that she got in um, Target. And just to go over the letter sounds, like g g grapes, ha ha hot dog, and so on. It's a great little thing. And I think it's really, it's like a dollar. Yeah, there you go, a dollar in Target, you guys. And then these workbooks, again, she got them inexpensively. Valerie, where did you get these? You got these in the From dollar the, store? Yeah, the dollar store. The dollar store and Target. And these are just targeting like letters, learn the alphabet, reading readiness, and some phonics. So you can really find these inexpensively for a dollar, you guys, at these stores. Um, here we have writing. And here I've created a, a binder here for Valerie so that she can do with her son. And you, I'm going to link this below so that you can create your own binder for free as well. So he's going to have his uh, tracing his name, circles, tracing, um, and then this is the pre-writing part. So he's going to start off with pre-writing. That's the first thing you want to start off with, pre-writing of horizontal and vertical lines. Um, and this might be the only thing you get to do with the three-year-old because a lot of children, they're not ready to write until they're at least four. But if you can get them to start tracing these lines, it's a really good start for handwriting. So I'll link this below. You can get it for free. And here, it, here is the tracing numbers 1 through 10, 1 through 9 that I also will link below that you can get for free. And then we have the alphabet uppercase. I like starting with uppercase because um, the letters are much easier to write and then moving on to the lowercase. So that is a, a writing binder that you can create for free for your children. She also has some flashcards, and um, she, you can get these inexpensively right at the dollar store. Those are from Target. These are from Target, yep. and they can just trace the letter there. And here she has a, a dry erase board, and you can start practicing his letters on. That's actually second hand also. On that second hand yeah. as well. Then we've designated these three areas here for hands-on activities. Um, you want to focus on activities that your children are interested in, interest-led, if they're into cars, do a car activity, if they're into horses, maybe do a horse activity. Here we have a few to show you. This one I got at Target. Um, you guys can actually find this right now at Target. It, it brings this felt mat and these little pieces, and the child would count, like one, two, three, and then place the uh, little shell right here on the three. I also have these little bottle caps that I got at Michael's just to give it um, a, a different activity. And they would match like one, one, two, two. And this is number recognition. So just to give the activity a little bit more uh, life and make it a little bit simpler for those children who are not yet counting, this would be a good number recognition activity. So that would be like an example of an activity that you can have, hands-on activities. Here's another one. Her son loves cars, and this is an activity in which I have these little numbers, and the child would um, put the numbers in order. You can help them put them in order, and then they would place a number of cars for each of the uh, numbers, so to learn number quantity. And so, just like this, like you would place the numbers in order. One, two, three. Just to show you an example, and you would just have the cars have them line up the cards according to the number. One, two, three. And then they can play with the cards. You can do so many different things with cards. This is just an idea. You can use magnetic numbers, wooden numbers. You can sort the cards by color, by size. There's so many different things you can do and her child loves cars, so this is going to grab his attention. And lastly, we have another activity here is learning shapes, and this is a Melissa and Doug uh, wooden puzzle. And so the child, I have this mat here, and I'll link it below for you guys. The child would just simply uh, match the shapes to the mat as they learn their shapes. And you can go over different concepts, even colors. There's a great way to reinforce shapes and to make it a fun hands-on activities for them. Okay, so there you've got it. We just wanted to set up some activities and show you sort of like what the flow would look like. So the child will start off with some math, literacy, and writing. That shouldn't take more than 15 minutes just to go over with. Um, do the read aloud and then do some hands-on activities. Overall, you can do something like this um, 25, 30 minutes a day and um, children will love it. Here I wanted to show you we have a weekly planning sheet. So if you want to uh, plan out um, and have a record of everything you're doing, 
you can do that as well. I'll link this below for you guys. Um, basically, you will write the subject over here, and then every day you write down the activities that you've done for each of these subjects. Um, and this is a good way to keep a track record of what you're doing every week uh, with your child. Um, and that's it, you guys. Okay, so I am back home now. I hope you have enjoyed the visit at Valerie's house um, and how she set up her preschool learning area. I will link below any of the free resources that I mentioned in the video, um, such as the writing folder, which you can start doing your pre-writing with your kids and then move on to numbers and then letters. I'll also link below the easy peasy curriculum that Valerie's using for literacy this year. Um, it basically introduces the alphabet letter of the week um, with crafts and activities every week and it's free to download. So I'll link that below for you guys as well. I wanted to show you how you can set up um, an inexpensive preschool area, no matter what your budget is, where around the world you are, what space you have, anyone can do it. Uh, I get a lot of emails saying, JD, I, I just don't have the funds to get all the things you have. I, I don't have the space or I just don't, I, I, I don't have access to those things where I live in my country. So I want to share with you because you don't have to have um, everything that someone else has. You can do with what you have and, and you can also do with what is um, within your budget. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, for more videos like this, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell. I'll also link below Valerie's channel where she shares about homeschooling, homemaking, organization, motherhood, and so much more. Go give her some love. Until the next time, bye-bye.